almost looked like an eight. What did that make you think when you saw it? A long time, and it's still standing. And that's what I say about the neighborhood. It's still trying to thrive, even though, like when the factories went out, many people lost their jobs. The economy uh, affected a lot of the homes. People couldn't necessarily move somewhere else. And so they were pretty much had to stay there. We have a lot of abandoned houses. Uh, the neighborhood just kind of was really affected from the shutdown of the factories. The one was right, like right in Avondale, Chevy, the Chevy plant. So, and it, it affected people being able to keep their homes up and maintain their homes and maintain the neighborhood. And, and then, then we had all the opioid epidemic. So, um, what do these photographs say about your community? Well, to me, I wouldn't trade it for any other community in Muncie, even though all the faults it has or problems, it feels like home to me. And uh, that's the best way I can describe it. It's, it's like I feel like people care there. Uh, even though they're they're not wealthy, most of them uh, have you know modest means, and it just feels like people care. Uh, whereas a lot of other neighborhoods maybe don't have that connection to their neighbors. They don't know their neighbors. Uh, people stay away from each other anymore. You don't have the neighbor. Like our pastor will go down the street and knock on doors mm -hmm. and ask people to come to the mill, or the, he'll go uh, knock on their door to see if they need anything. Or uh, you don't find very many neighborhoods like that. 